well what are different different what you can say properties related to view we are getting that thing let me push this code in a minute so in the last tutorial what we have seen is that how your what you can say different different view measurement units works so in this tutorial I am going to explain what do you mean by your margin padding gravity layout gravity how that works that we'll see in detail let me push the code very first thing that we have seen last time get and at commit view properties and here we have seen view measurement units right we are going to see something called as view measurement units we have seen already sorry now in the view properties I'll go remember that I am not selecting to the Android perspective that's up to my choice right but if you want to see everything related to the Android you can go to the Android perspective but I personally don't like that so I don't select that and I use this thing because I like to see full project structure okay so here now I am going to new and say I'm going to create another XML over here right so layout resource XML and I can say here other properties other underscore props and say finish by default layout would be the linear layout and I can say okay please create the layout I'm just creating layout I haven't created the activity yet remember that I just have created the layout okay now in the other props here I would be selecting to this view right you can all the time switch to the drag and drop right you can all the time switch to the drag and drop but for the first few lectures you should get to know what exactly happening that's why I'm typing the code okay so orientation is vertical by default now I am going to create one text view or one button over here or text view see text view right I would be having one text view and I'm going to say match parent and the wrap content so let me give some text over here whenever you need to assign some static text to the text view this is the bad way of doing that thing say codecool.com right so if you type the text in this manner this is the extremely ugly way so proper way we are going to see once we are going to learn the simple value resources right what are the simple value resources at that time we'll see okay now here I can say text size and I can say 30 SP right now you are familiar with this what do you mean by SP is a font unit what I want to do is that I want to shift the content so for the reference I'll keep this as it is right for the reference I'll keep this as it is for comparing both now I want to shift can you see the match parent width is the match parent so I cannot shift the view because already it is occupied fully occupied and if I want to shift the content in this case I am going to use something called as padding and the left padding and the left padding works with the content what I'm saying padding works with the content you can see 30 DP in this case it is a DP you are dealing with the dimension that is DP right okay now this is a match parent means you have shifted the content now what I'm going to do is that let me have one another text view over here and to this text view right to this text view my width would be what you can say wrap content my width would be wrap content can you see if you compare this text view you'll see that blue what you can say border throughout the phone or throughout the width right and here if you say the blue border that is nothing but only that much means view is only that much if you want to shift the content you would be using padding if you want to shift the whole and sole view if you want to shift the complete view right what I'm saying if you want to shift the complete view 
you are going to use something called as margin say 30 dp right margin is nothing but what 30 dp margin left you can see left and if you see only margin that is would be from four sides only padding would be from four sides only margin would be from four sides so here we are looking specifically from the left right now I would be having what you can say one more text view this text view right so our comparator or wherever we are going to make the comparison that text view I am copied now I want to take so it is a match parent right you can see this is the match parent I want to take content exactly to the center or to the right right see now in that case we are going to use only gravity right that can be center that can be at the right something like this right or that can be at the center something like this so you are dealing with the relative uh, sorry linear layout remember that these properties are of the linear layout we are getting right and most of them would be applicable to all of the views again I would be having this let me copy this and in this case I'm going to have wrap content as the width so my view is only this much see so gravity wouldn't be shifting why because already you are wrap content and into that wrap content you are saying please go to the center that is no, there is a no sense over here now I want to shift the whole view in this case to the center right I want to shift whole view to the center how see layout gravity either it can be at the right it will go to the right or it can be at the center left top bottom whatever difference in this and this difference in this and this so difference in this this is a full width and this is the required width and view has been shifted and content has been shifted remember that padding shifting the content margin shifting the view gravity shifting the view content and layout gravity shifting the full view remember that that's how this works right okay so this is about your some margin padding and other things so there are many attributes related to the views likewise you can give some background see background to your view and you can say it is a HTML color coding RR GG and BV right see E8 little bit faint faint gray color I will apply like this this is a faint gray is there or if you remove something see can you see values are getting changed right e8 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 little bit faint gray color is there right there is some faint gray color and many attributes are there right now this is about layout gravity then padding then gravity margin and the say, what you can say another thing whatever it is fine now in the next tutorial what I'm going to explain is that what do you mean by what you can say weight attribute how you are going to deal with the weight attribute of the linear layout that will explain in the next tutorial how actually weight works okay keep watching